A British tourist in Taiwan is now on a mission to clean up the Tamsui River in the new Taipei city, one of the island's longest rivers. Unable to travel back to the United Kingdom due to travel restrictions during the pandemic, he is now part of a massive cleanup drive in the city. Our next report has more details. The pandemic may have changed Peter Lowe's travel itinerary, but he is using his time in Taiwan productively. Lowe arrived in January to visit his son who lives near the Tamsui River Bank in New Taipei City. And he couldn't return to the United Kingdom due to travel restrictions during the pandemic. And so, this boating enthusiast shifted his attention instead to the dirty riverbanks in Taipei, which were littered with rubbish and plastic waste. His focus currently is the Tamsui River, one of the island's longest rivers. I enjoy my boating thoroughly. I've, I always have like boating and I just discovered a, a wonderful river. We saw what was happening in the river so we decided to collect some rubbish in our bags and just and, and get rid of as much as we can. It's too much. It's too, it's too much rubbish coming down from the, the, the cities. Low bought and repaired a rowing boat. He now rows across the rivers in Taipei and handpicks plastic and garbage lining the pockets of rich mangrove forests. Lowe's initiative is warding off future crises because this hidden waste could potentially wash out into the ocean during a dangerous storm or typhoon. You can stay, you can stay there. And Lowe is not alone in this endeavor. Other environmentally conscious boaters have joined in and are now striving to save Taiwan's rich and diverse ecosystem. This mangrove forest, for instance, is one of Taiwan's largest urban conservation areas. You don't feel it's too serious when the garbage is dispersed in the water. When Peter took us to the edge of the mangrove forest, we realized that the garbage is a big problem. Sometimes we need an outsider to point out the problems. We can be so used to our surroundings that we are numb and insensitive. Lo and his fellow boaters and their efforts have not gone unnoticed. The local city government has pledged to allocate more funds and resources to this cleanup drive. We can do without plastic. You don't need plastic. The world is now staring at a climate emergency. Approximately 300 million tons of plastic waste is generated each year. This figure is only bound to increase in a post-pandemic world as masks and PPE kits become a necessary part of our lives. Perhaps more good Samaritans like Peter Lowe could help in tackling this crisis. And what we all need is a plastic revolution. Bureau Report, we on. World is one. Co-presented by Skoda. Simply clever.